over the years I've worked with so many people in my individual breakthrough program that want to get over someone they're like Nicola how can I stop thinking about them how can I stop reviewing the relationship how can I get over someone why do I still want them when they've treated me so badly why am I still in love with them and um, I often will say to them okay tell me about the relationship and they'll say well it wasn't very good for a long time and the last six years were quite hard or the last two years we were so disconnected and we didn't have sex and they were all, we were arguing all the time and I always remind them so you weren't actually in love with the relationship you may have been in love with them but you weren't in love with the relationship to which they go yeah you're right Nicola so the first step in getting over someone is to remind yourself and review the relationship actually how it was so this has two steps the first step is remind yourself of the negative things in the relationship the times you argued the times you felt unloved lonely insecure unsupported the times you went to bed in a bad mood feeling alone stressed remind yourself of these because it can be so easy when we're trying to get through a breakup to just see the person in this perfect light see the person in that way when you first met them and actually there's probably so many things that they did that hurt and upset you that you just are deleting from your memory so review the relationship as it was and if it helps you write a timeline this may sound a bit crazy but it really works draw a line on, a, on the middle of a piece of paper and then put the highs in your relationship and then also put the lows so that you're just seeing things and reviewing things as a whole and on the lows right you know this really hurt me i felt alone they left me when i needed them on my birthday they did this now it might seem petty However, it's really going to help you get over them. The second thing to do is to list their negative traits. So often it can be easy to remember, oh, they were so handsome, they were so interesting, they were so manly or feminine. But what were their negative traits? Well, they were quite selfish. They like to talk about themselves. They didn't really do any loving actions for me. They're a bit needy. They're a bit controlling whatever it is of course i'm just making this up as i'm talking to you but these are things that people share with me in my, my breakthrough program and then reminding yourself are you in love with the relationship that you had really are you and were you that's a great question to ask yourself and then the next two things is take control of your self-care Going through a breakup is like this emotional roller coaster. You feel angry, you feel why me, you feel down, you feel rejected and unlovable and not good enough and unattractive. You worry, am I good enough in bed? Am I sexual enough? Am I interesting enough? Am I boring? And that's what I went through. So but I'm just speaking from a bit of personal experience there. And maybe that's similar for you. Maybe there's other things that you start to kind of attack yourself with. So you need to love yourself. And there's two things to doing that. Your self-care and pampering yourself. So the self-care is good sleep, exercise to get your endorphins going, to get you feeling good about your body, about yourself. Making sure that you're surrounding yourself with loving energy positive people people that just love you for you whether you can feel confident and then pampering yourself maybe getting yourself your nails done if you're a woman or a man a lot of men at the moment are getting their manicures done giving yourself a new look a few more items in your wardrobe doing something that's just going to make you feel like yeah i feel good and maybe even getting some professional photos done so that when you're ready to get dating again and you join a dating site you've got some really nice photos of yourself all these kind of things are things that my clients decide to do to pamper themselves to love themselves and to get over someone 
If you'd like to find out more about my breakthrough program that gets rid of those limiting beliefs, those beliefs that I'm unlucky in love, I'm not attractive enough, I'm not good enough in bed, I'm not relationship material, all men or women leave me, men and women cheat on me, whatever it is, we need to get rid of those so that you can have the relationship, the love, the excitement and the passion that you deserve in your life and in your future relationship life. And I love to help in this area. So if you're interested, go to nicolabeer.com. I'd so love to hear from you. And just remember that you are enough, you are good enough, you deserve love, and that love is simply to be enjoyed. Love is not to be forced, measured, chased or run after. Love is simply there for your enjoyment. Take care.